Welcome to another installment of Fighting for the Faith. My name is Chris Roseboro. I am your servant in Jesus Christ. This is the channel that compares what people are saying in the name of God to the Word of God. Now, there's this thing that we do from time to time here, because uh, dealing with heresy can be a dark and depressing kind of thing, so we like to lighten things up from time to time. So that means only one thing. It's time for Prophecy Bingo! So today, uh, let's uh, let's put this up here. Today we have uh, Remy uh, Shepherd joining us, and then down, down, down below we have Joshua, who's a uh, nor normal guest, and Nikki, his uh, wife, my daughter-in-law, are also making an appearance in this installment of Fighting for the Faith. So uh, Remy, I don't know if a lot of people know who you are. I mean, you have a relatively new uh, podcast. Tell us about your channel and uh, and maybe a little bit of, of, of your background and why you're eminently qualified for prophecy bingo sure sure so uh, my name is remy i run a podcast and youtube channel uh, and website called lutheran answers and uh my ultimate goal here is to uh you know like got questions or catholic answers but correct about things uh, right so that's that's what i got going on um working building it up I myself was uh, uh, raised in the Pentecostal Holiness Church, and I graduated from there and spent several years in the New Apostolic Reformation. I lived out in Arizona, even spent some time attending Patricia King's church. Out that there. still boggles my mind. I mean, how anybody yeah. can spend any time at Patricia King's Shiloh Church is just so you you you've been there, done that. You've you've met Patricia King. Yeah, you know Robert Hodgkins and those folks. I, I don't. I don't. I've never met Patricia King. <laughs> but you've been in the same room with her, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've been. I've been feet from the woman. I have been okay. feet from the woman. But you've never met her. No, no, but like during like worship services and stuff, um, uh, you know, we you'd you'd go down to like the the altar for like the yeah. the, the stage for like their altar call, okay. and uh, yeah, she's like right there. Okay, so but you've been close yeah. in the vicinity, but never actually like, hi Patricia, my name's Remy. Never did that, huh? No, no, uh, been to conferences and all kinds of things. Um, uh, and and so it you know it's interesting that you bring this up because at the church, um, uh, at the little services or it was always if you have a word from the Lord we want to hear it there was always mm -hmm. that that thing and um, everybody who's like right up front and I would always get there early with my friends and try and be right up front and was successful many many times. And okay. everybody up front is always raising their hands. I've got a word from the Lord. I've got a word from the Lord. Never called on any of us. Um, never once. It. Uh, uh, now, looking back, I'm beginning to think maybe it was staged. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. mm, okay. <laughs> all right. I, I'm not going to disagree with you. So, all right. So, Prophecy Bingo, uh, those of you who would like to play along at home, we absolutely encourage this. Uh, that the, If you look in the description down below this video, you will find a link to our Prophecy Bingo card generator, and you'll note that I have uh, generated a new card for myself after the, the card that I used last time completely let me down. It was, it was, it was d d really... It was glorious. No, it was not glorious. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> It was the opposite of glorious. You know, I, you know, I should not be on the prophecy bingo struggle bus. So you know that <laughs> that's debatable. <laughs> At least that's how I feel. So so here's uh -huh. here's how today's prophecy bingo is going to work. We are going to look at, you know, at a list of different potential prophecies. Now, I'm going to pick the first one just because I'm cruel and unusual. And oh, no. uh, that means we're going to listen to Kay Nash. Uh, so, microwave burrito dress. So, uh, what, I know, what is she wearing? I, mean, I don't oh, know. Did she, did she steal I, that I from Klaus Schwab? You know? You, you. <laughs> Remy, Fancy. don't make me break out the imprintory no, socks. <laughs> 
All right. Jesus, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, right. So what I'm going to do is because I know kind of how her stick works. She usually has like a preview and then <sighs> she gets into it. So here we go. Uh, we'll, we'll start here where it says K Nash, messenger of the Lord. Uh, I mean, that has to be the weirdest business card ever, you know. So, uh, you know, with that, we are we're going to get into our prophecy bingo episode here today. And uh, so call it out. If you if you get a word, uh, you know, that on your card, let us know. Oh, and uh, and uh, yeah, on the card. And then we're, here we here we go. Let the cheating begin. Words and do teachings <laughs> in God's word and do some other things, some leadership training, some vlogs, that kind of stuff. So if that's something you're interested, make sure you hit subscribe. Nope. All right, you guys, I'm going to be delivering a February prophetic word today. No, I'm going to kind of just not have a weekly word this week. I'm going to combine the weekly word and the February word. Oh, I feel, I feel so how robbed. Do, I, <laughs> how does she have the authority to do that? <laughs> right? Like if she's speaking from for God, how can yeah. she just be like, well, I'm just going to combine these. I'm Sherry God. I can't pencil you in this week. I'll have to do it. I, I'm going to do a combined so thing busy. In like a matter of two weeks. God's the God, so have to change his schedule. Don't put him in a box. No, no, no. Right? It's not him changing it. It's her. It's her. Well, it's, it's Yeah. yeah know, I mean, she, clearly, I mean, it's not coming from her, right? But she didn't <laughs> say, God told me to squish everything together. She said, I'm going to do this. So, yes. You know, yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Because I am leaving in two days to go to Atlanta. So tomorrow I'm going to be packing and then I am leaving on a plane the next day. And so I just, plane. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. I kind of needed to right. combine them into one. Reckon, and so this is you reckon the if weekly we pray, slash. Uh, what was that? If was we that? pray about it, do you think she'll like leave on the jet plane and then not come back? <laughs> like maybe that, she'll that, just... That, that would she that would be stay in Atlanta. That would be an audacious <laughs> prayer. That, indeed, indeed. So God, God said K Nash to Atlanta because he ran out of locusts. <laughs> <laughs> Just that seems like cruel and unusual punishment. Let's keep going. I, I keep looking at what she's wearing and wondering, like, does this thing conduct electricity? I mean, seriously, <laughs> Is she you a know, Vandegraaff generator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you know, in an electrical storm, do not go outside with that thing. You will be struck by <laughs> lightning. So. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, I meant to grab my tinfoil hat before we did this. Okay, um, well, I'm sorry. You know, I don't know. Minus how, two that. points. Yeah, okay. That's the February word. Um, so, yeah. All right, you guys. I am excited to jump into this month's prophetic word. And if you could tell by this flashy little jacket, I am on theme for this word because this is the word. Stepping into your gold season. It's time for you to step into your <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, I And I'm bummed that I don't have step into on my card. That's just so annoying. Step into your gold season. Okay. Oh, that's it, so it, good. It, you know, it, it, it's wow. gold like season like... credit card? No, it might be like like you, you know, your 50th anniversary. Uh, you know, so you, your gold season is like right before you die, you know, kind of things. I don't know, you know. That weird, yeah. that weird little bit of ordinary time um, mm. <laughs> between like, like uh, Epiphany and Lent or whatever. We should, we should make that gold, gold season. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. All right, let's I think keep we going. That would be here. Easter. Easter is gold season. Uh huh. Right. All right. She's let's, early. Let's do yeah. this. Let's keep going gold here. Gold season. Mm. Hear the word mm. of the Lord, Jesus. <laughs> It's gold. Yes. Yeah. 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 Jesus, we have it on our card. Yeah, uh, and I, I'm I'm going to take say it the Lord here, so because you know, um, mm, uh, uh huh, yeah, um, I'm doing it. Okay. So say it the Lord. Taking my free space. Yeah, that, do you do that. You do that, Remy. <laughs> Remy right. takes his free space out of <laughs> out of spite. <laughs> All right. So this is the word of the Lord. It's written out for uh, us so we can follow oh along. No. How convenient. Let's keep going. Hold your life, though you can't see it quite yet. Many of my children are having hardships this season and cannot see the way out fully. But I am bringing gold where there was silver. I am restoring Eden-like mindsets to people who will follow me. <laughs> I am bringing new things to them as easily as the sparrow spreads its wings to fly, so I spread you. Mm. I will take mm. care of you. I take mm. care of my sparrow, and you are important to me as well. I do not forget anything, but there is a time for everything. Everything is beautiful in its time. I am the God of timing. 
I scale you back to advance. Timing is a word. What was that? Timing is a word. Yeah, it is. Remember, this is the year of the bow. This is the year of advancement. Joshua, my people will be like Joshua, taking lands they have not taken before. If they continue, if they can. How many, how, how many lands have you taken this this year? Well, I didn't. Um, it's been pretty silver for me in the land taking department. Um, it hasn't I've just, been gold. Okay. No, I've just been I've leasing been land. Um, uh, yeah, see. Sure. I'm in the yeah. Bronze Age over here. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki didn't disagree. Okay. <laughs> all I no, all I can think of is that song from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, silver, silver and gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep going here. Continue to listen to me and not let the spirit of Python guide them. Beware oh. of Python this year, as it can cause decrease. Beware of mm. watching too much TV. Beware of sluggish behaviors. Beware of conversations you don't need to be in. Beware. If you yield to my warnings, you will see much fruit in your life. This will be a fruitful mm. month for those who till their land. So organize your life. Get uh, what was that? T T L, T -L not till. Oh, okay. God made a typo. Yeah, God's God, God is infamous for those typos. Yeah. Well, you know, the Holy Spirit needs a lot of help nowadays. Hi, this is the Holy Apparently. Spirit. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> it's it's amazing because she's just sitting here beating you down with the law. Yeah, like you, mm -hmm. you got to yield yield to my you know my things or whatever, or you won't be fruitful. Here's it, it's not even good law. It, it, it's 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 like made up law. I mean, it's just like crazy law. Okay. But the thing is, is that this is not the word of this are not the words of a co cogent or coherent God. This is no. you know a spiteful, vengeful God after mm. dropping acid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's continue on with our scolding, shall we? Let's take this like men. So move into what I have for you. Do not lack in your hand because you are in confusion. Confusion is causing much problems in the life of my children. Many problems, They are confused much. about this thing and that thing. You are listening to too many voices. Hone in on who you're supposed to be listening to this season as there is imposters. Stay are. pure, my children, for I <laughs> Yeah, that's right. God doesn't even know good grammar. No, no, she wrote it. She wrote it right, but she can't read it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'm watching you and come to reward your work, Jesus. Mm. Jesus. There is wow. a lot to this <laughs> word. There is a lot of themes. There is oh. a lot that God's alluding to. There is a lot of verses that... God is not alluding to anything. God did not give you yeah. these words, lady. He Ugh. was kind of highlighting to me throughout this. So if you're a note taker, get your notebook out. If you are a screenshotter, get ready to screenshot. If you got a laptop, you want to type it up, get ready. Okay, hold we're going to go deep hold into on. this. Jesus. Mm. Okay, I would actually really love to sick a advanced placement um, AP <laughs> English teacher on her and her words from the Lord, and just watch them watch watch them tear her a new one. Yeah, it would be absolutely hilarious because oh, there's so many themes and this, that, and the other, and the English teacher would be like, "What are you talking about? No, that was gibberish." Did you notice yeah. that she said something about there were a lot of verses that the Lord was highlighting to me, and it's because she she straight up was plagiarizing like bits and pieces right. like half sentence yeah. here a sentence there right. yeah from like pretty famous mm -hmm. passages of scripture i mean if you keep plagiarizing that much you might become the president of harvard or something i'm ready to take notes i i have my note taking <laughs> device oh, wow. so, so, he's studious so, i i just want you to know i can take notes so uh, I'm just trying to get into the gold season. I, you know, I realized just now my problem is that I have had lack in my hand because of confusion. And mm -hmm. I, I don't mm -hmm. know exactly what that means, but I'm, I'm here. Have to you been listening that. to imposters? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> like your background? Yeah. 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 
All right. I, I, I got to admit, I can only take so much of her. Uh, we, we should check in with Dr. Alexis. And I've learned that she, she likes to kind of like wait for people to get on. So her, her word of the Lord doesn't really start until uh, uh, like 20 minutes in. So let, let's check to see if she's up and running at this point. Prophetic word for February 2024. Here we go. bare feet on my chest and started prophesying to me the word that she was in her own head. It wasn't even the word of the Lord. It was opposite of what the Lord had told me to do. And so God was letting me know because that's dirty. Somebody putting their feet on you in the dream. And in the dream, I'm kind of like, well, I'm okay. The intercessors are around. I'm like, well, you know, I'm okay. I got it. But the Lord was we letting me know, no, this is she not my she real. Did. Intercessor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that works. Actually. I mean, I'm just wondering, is this the Burger King foot lettuce anointing that she's talking about? Is that I, what I have is? no idea. I you know, We jumped in. There's like, very, we didn't get the original Air context. Is not a prophecy bingo word. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm record. very lost. I'm very lost on her context here. <laughs> we jumped in feet first on this yeah, one. Yeah, right in the middle <laughs> of something. And it sounds like she's having some kind of a fever dream, and 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 somebody in the fever dream was giving her false words and stuff. So, you know. I so right. so like, this is not my word over your life. This is not the gospel of truth. This is a false gospel, the false word that is being spoken over you. So you must come out of agreement with it. Why? Because words create worlds. Mm -hmm. So we cancel every false word right now in the name of Jesus. That is ironic. Huh. Cancels herself. Congratulations. Right. <laughs> she like blips out of existence when she's no. like, <laughs> and matter, antimatter, just an explosion of light and sound. Oh, I, I know an editor that can make that happen. But anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna have another animation work pro 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 project. <laughs> No. Let's keep going here. Hallelujah. Come on, I call forth your Amen. mind to be settled, stable. No longer being tossed to and fro. Come on, I know that there's I'm gonna times mark sappy like that, music. but I, I pray. Yeah, yeah this music that, is in the that, background. That, yeah, okay. that's sappy music. We have sappy music as well. And and you know what? I'm She's not totally screeching, but I'm going to take yelling. So, yeah. I yeah. don't think it, that counts. Oh, it's close enough. <laughs> it's close wow. enough. Wow. Well, me too. Then, <laughs> yeah. You can't, if you have yelling, we're, we're if taking you have it, it. Take it. <laughs> take it. <laughs> oh, no. What's the point oh. of cheating if you can't cheat well? So, okay. Father, that you cause your people to come in the right mind in the name of Jesus. That you cannot give up in the middle. The middle creates champions. That, that was an extended Jesus. Uh, it sure was. Yes, it was. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard you just gotta annul it. You know they. They annul, oh, like, what? you know, marriages when they ain't right. They annul it. I just An heard annulment? the word annul. You just got to annul anything that the Lord ain't spoken. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. How, if your marriage ain't right, just annul it. Just annul it, man. Just annul I, it. This, this hurt, hurt, hurt my brain. The sappy music in the background isn't nearly appropriate enough. We need, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We, we need to add her to her soundtrack. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Continuing here. That's coming out of covenant with that thing. The other day we were praying and ministering in, in a prophetic fire in Dallas, Texas. And fire is a word. At the end of every month, I'm hosting a prophetic fire. At the we'll end of every fire. month on Friday, I'm hosting a prophetic fire. And uh, the next that. day we will have Ooh. a training. So this month. It'll yeah. How, how does one schedule prophetic fire? You know, I think that I think that's actually a dead ritualism. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. She's not working within the spirit if she's going to schedule it. Whew. No, no, you don't understand. You don't understand when you're when you're anointed in the uh, in the right way. Uh, Jesus shares his Google calendar with you. Oh, oh okay. I, I did not know that. Did you, I did you did not know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Only okay. socialist Jesus uses Google Calendar, though. Does that come oh, as a yeah, well, download yeah. from the Holy Spirit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
continuing, continuing. We must forge ahead here. On the 23rd in Louisville, Texas. And we're going to have a prophetic training on dreams and visions. Is she even given a word? Yet? Let me tell She's you something. Like dreams. I think dreams is a word. We were yeah. declaring. My friend Phil, he was praying. Declare, Declare is a word. I got it. Hang on a second uh, here. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's Ooh. looking good. Okay. And he began to pray. And next thing I know, my friend, she said, I just feel like I was stabbed in the stomach. It was I really like, deliberate. I feel like. There forth, we go. I got to feel forth. like. Yeah, I feel like. But really, it was all the words that had been spoken, all the false words that was being uprooted. He wasn't even praying for her. He was praying for the whole room. But there was a response that happened. Go to and I just church, pray man. that if there's anything people that has been inside barefoot, of you and screaming you people. based on. Stabbed, I know. It's like, what kind of church is this? People getting stabbed in the stomach by the spirit? What on earth, man? It's uh, St. It's Athlete's Foot. Okay. <laughs> on a false word that it comes out of you hallelujah there may be a feeling in your body you may be yawning you may be whatever but i'm telling you it gotta go i need you There's to say breakthrough in the spirit. <laughs> just yes <laughs> right? did she say <laughs> heavenly i I, don't think I haven't heard that yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we just had to deal with that right now, real quick, real quick, so that you could receive the word of the Lord. Is that what that was? Holly okay. I'm just going to point it out. Chat mm. is not prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> She's, you can see her, like, her eyes darting, like, to chat, to chat, to chat, to try to engage while yeah. also trying to maintain some sort of holiness. Uh -huh. The That's name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Continue to like, share, tag the broadcast, y'all. I'm about to flow with the word of the Lord. <laughs> flow, flow is a word. The flow is a word. Right, I got it. We have flow. Da, da, okay. Da, da. Uh, all right. She's, She's about to. All words. She's yeah. about to. That which the Lord has given me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let I'm me just. Run another steam here. Let me just text real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see Would you like the, to phone a friend? <laughs> I gotta well, fast forward. Jeremiah 33 and 6. I will reveal to them the abundance of peace. Oh, I have abundant. I'm taking it. Reveal. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Take abundant. Hallelujah. I will reveal. I will show forth. I will let you know. Also, here we see show to know wisdom, heavens, deep. Knowledge. Heavenly, I, I mean, she said to heavenly tell. heavens. Deep, she said deep. Hang on a second here. I got. Oh, oh my oh god! I no. just need some misappropriated you're Hebrew, and cheating. I'm on the board here. You're okay. clearly cheating. What? Uh, I took <laughs> heavenly, by the way. I yeah. just, I'm taking yeah, it. Yeah, you can take it. She said it. So, what about yeah. open heaven? I mean, that feels that nah, feels like no, that's a little, a little more. That specific. feels like a stretch to me. So. <laughs> That's right. We got Chuck Pierce coming up. I'm pretty sure Open Heaven's going to be in there. You're safe. <laughs> to decree. I'm decree. decree. And another she one say decree. Yeah, she said decree. Hang on a second here. So we're we're in the oh. good part of this one, man. All right, she's oh, she's man. she is producing. Okay. It says, I will reveal it at night. <laughs> I will reveal it at night. Mm. Another one here says, I will reveal the purpose. Purpose. Purpose is a word. You have it on your card, Dad? Hallelujah. Uh, no. no. Bummer. Okay. <laughs> I will reveal the purpose. At night. Thank you, Lord. At night. So the Lord said that this would be a month of reveal. Oh, and to <laughs> We're revealing again. Re it's going to be the month of reveal. <laughs> You can hear the fuses blowing. You gotta reveal your annulment. <laughs> Surprise, honey. I've annulled our marriage. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, continuing on here. Kick it off. Something happened to me that was so amazing. Something is a prophecy. Bingo word. Yeah, something is a word. I was to my yeah. father the other day, just on some random talking to him. And he said, Alexis, yeah, you know, you was born in new orleans mm. i said no i wasn't born on new orleans my birth certificate says fort polk louisiana he said but no you were medevaced from fort polk louisiana in 1982 because they couldn't they couldn't um do it there because you guys were twins so they had to send you to a more successful hospital right deuteronomy 29 and 29 the secret things belong to the lord but those things that are that are revealed are up. What, 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 <laughs> why did we just get like 
I have no idea. You of her childhood that, medical history. There was a, there was well, a train right of into thought. Deuteronomy now. It's like, shoom. <laughs> there, there was a train of thought, and then she decided to deviate onto a dirt road. Wow. I legitimately, I looked down at the chat to think. I thought maybe somebody put the Deuteronomy thing as like a super chat on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Money, ding. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, you know, glory of born. Zion. All right. All viewers, man battle stations. You are about to be exposed to glory of Ziohazard. Level 4 containment protocols are now in effect. Please refrain from eating, drinking, or operating heavy machinery. Your health and safety cannot be guaranteed. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Oh, this just Gloria sounds too too funny to to pass up. Saddle up and shout your way through. Okay, oh, what a no. name for a prophecy. Okay, so oh, here, here no. we go. Seriously, <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> no, that, she was she, yelling. She's that's a generation. That, she's yelling. saying generational curse. I, so, I, that I, was that, that. well. There was some yelling going on here, and yep, and, and, and I. I I legitimately was getting a download of uh, of what that meant. So uh, she's talking that definitely sounded, about it unlocking like glory. It sounded like misappropriated Hebrew. Unlocking no, it glory. did not. It, she was unlocking glory. Is that that's what she was doing? So okay. I heard generational curse. That's what I heard. Yeah, well, you, you obviously have don't have the same gift I have. So uh huh. Uh, <laughs> sure. I haven't received it through you know my bloodline or anything. No, 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 no. It it it, it, it would definitely be a generational curse. So <laughs> you've got one of those. I, I can't confirm. I'm, I'm gonna take it just to spite just to spite you. <laughs> No. <laughs> you know, back, back to prophecy bingo. We'll we'll discuss the fourth commandment and its in its greater meanings later. So, <laughs> Provoke not your children to anger. <laughs> we continue. <laughs> Buckle up, buckaroos. That lady at the beginning genuinely what? kind of sounded like Donnie from the Wild Thornberrys. <laughs> 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 oh, you know no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, you know you're not wrong. All right. So this is your faith has unlocked the supernatural. Oh, this no. I'm gonna go slightly ahead and just longer supernatural. Yeah, you should yeah, go it. for it. it. You, you can do it. All right, here we go. Yep. I am unlocking your oh, faith waving. to Unlocked. reach a new level. I new, new level. level. New level I got is unlocked a prophecy. and new level. Yeah, nice. that, both of those are good. Oh wait, I have unlock. unlock. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I already yeah, took you, it. Yeah, you, 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 you I used cheated. it. Oh, but I also had unlock. I didn't see that uh, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Continuing oh, yeah. on. Say you believe me in days past, but I say in this season you're going to see me do what. Seasons of prophecy bingo word. You did not see done in the last season. For I say your faith is going to reach into the unseen and cause a manifestation in the seen realm. Manifestation of the word. Wait, she said realm. Hang on. She said the scene realm. A uh, scene realm. There we go. We got a realm here. Okay, we're getting. We're we're, we're working multiple fronts here. This is a much better card than last time. So uh, <laughs> I feel like they're just all around it for me. Like they're close. To all these words I got, just not quite. Uh, I, I know your pain, Remy, and. I'm, <laughs> I wish I could say I was sorry that you're experiencing, but I'm not. So. <laughs> He's such a gracious host, isn't he? <laughs> just, just not. Well, so. well, I've been watching Prophecy Bingo for years, and it's like, it's like, uh, it's so sad when he doesn't win because it's like watching like Canadians play hockey against <laughs> Americans. It's like you're losing at the thing you invented. 
I, I, um, I will accept the metaphor. Thank you. Thank you. So um, when the, when the guest stars win, it's miracle on ice. <laughs> it's a prophetic miracle on ice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Continuing well, on. Found that, that I promised you so long ago, the Lord said, You've been faithful to me. You've been faithful in the good times. You've been faithful in the hard times. Now you watch the faithfulness of my... Look at this couple over here. I mean, what on... Is, what is, is that Mike from Breaking Bad? So He's being <laughs> held hostage against his will. He looks a little confused. <laughs> what on my earth? spirit, as I come coming and out of the cause bit? that that's been locked up in the heavens to come into the natural realm... I say your oh. faith is unlocked, and now I say you will see the miracles that I promised you so oh, long miracle. ago. Yeah, miracle you have miracles. Counts. Nice. Yep. I say this is a season of the miraculous. So I say I'm unlocking your faith to believe me, and I say what you have seen by the Spirit, you will now see in the natural in this new season. We keep saying believe. I have believing uh, for. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. That ain't gonna she work. She keeps saying faithfulness, and I don't think. No, she. I don't think she knows what that word means. Understand so. what that no, means. No. No. Yeah. Oh gosh. All right. So we're not coming back to her. So let, let's 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 keep on going. <laughs> Too down many words. <laughs> All right, um, so let's see. There... Prophetic word: Learn to break open heaven on your behalf, and this is spirit yeah. Let's do move. that one. Yeah, okay, all right. Let's check this one out. Let's open oh, her in a new tab. Hey guys, it is. Oh, there's nothing like a good kitchen prophecy. All right. So in, in like four, four by, by three, three aspect ratio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fast forward because this lady has a tendency to like tell people to, you know, to give money, to subscribe and, and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. Let's see, see where we're I'm going to go here. ahead and mark open oh. heaven. Cause it's in the title. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That, yep, that, that works. That's, that's we'll how that it. works. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so you guys, are you ready? Ready. Okay. You need to get ready. You need to, uh, but I'm ready. I'm ready. So. Position yourself. Position. Oh, got to position yourself. Yeah. Hang on a position second. Here. Is, I have position that. is a word. I got it. There you yeah. go. Okay. Oh, okay. No. So I'm doing good here now, guys. Doing mm -hmm. good. Uh huh. This is this is a much better card than last month. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so I know you're probably still wondering. Okay, but she has not told us why she's I'm not. Listen to the reverb in her kitchen. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> it's like the like the train station attendant, like that ten ten. You know, like it's super echoey. Yeah, I mean, you can <laughs> le legitimately hear the sound waves going. Like, just listen, listen, listen. Filming in the kitchen. I will tell you. I'm gonna wait for a few minutes before I tell you. Okay. Skip I'm, forward. I'm few minutes. She, she, okay. Okay. How are we she's talking about attention. her filming in the kitchen? And that was the first thing she said. This might yeah. be a real that. one, you guys. <laughs> Here you go. But waiting to pick up on those things and then go try to hinder your prayers from being answered. Just like how the principalities, oh. you know, were trying to stop Daniel's prayers. It's the same thing. It's still mm. happening today. Uh, the principalities Pastor. were not trying to stop Daniel's prayers. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay, Pastor, okay. I was going to okay. ask, where's that one at? Can you? Yeah, hear? that's like a, that's like a complete hack job that's of it. the story of Daniel. So that's in Second okay. Daniel. Yeah, yeah. The, the funny thing about this video is, so she says, "I'm going to make you wait." This wasn't a live video. This wasn't a premiered video. This was just published. Which means so anybody, anybody can fast anybody forward. Anybody with, with the right arrow key just skip, 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 skip. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just, I did that myself. So I right, can continue on. We don't, get, we don't get out of that. Like, we still have to put up with that, okay? So you have to be aware of all this stuff. And I'm not going to go into all how you kind of really pre prep for that. I have certain things that I do. Um, and I don't mind adding that, but right now I just really felt like the Lord's like, Liberty, you need to get on and tell my people they have not because they ask not. And to teach. Uh, I have a Bible verse in James that says that. Why do I need you to tell me that? So, you know, yeah, as a prophetic word. Teach you what it looks like to break open heaven. Now, um, I'm going to have my, I'm going to send this to my editor 
because she helps me edit a lot of stuff, not just my book. She helps. Me. Clearly, she can't do audio uh, she work has on an this. Editor. <laughs> Full multi-purpose me. editor. <laughs> Multi. Yeah, she has an editor. <laughs> What My did your editor do? Whenever we're watching television shows that are edited poorly, I will just sit there and go, oh, this is terrible. Shoot the editor. Just shoot the editor. <laughs> what, what we say does that sometimes her... when we watch Prophecy Bingo, too. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. <laughs> Zing. Okay. She uh, keeps me humble. I, sure. That's my job. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> All kinds of things. And so, and she's, you know, work, working with me on my second book. Um, Charisma has already said, said they're publishing it. It's a yes. So we're oh, working. Wow. We're clearly not, not to the word editor. of the Lord yet here. So I'm going to not, not a video editor. Not a video editor. Still pitching the book. Now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place when he um, ceased that one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. So he said to them, when you pray, say, say, and I'm going to get through this, you guys. You better just hang tight because I can already feel the glory. Okay. Where is she? Our glory. Father in heaven, oh. hallowed be thy name. Your king- All right. Do we, did we already get glory? Yeah, we are, I called that. Oh, bummer. Okay. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted against us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And so, what translation did she read um, that from? I, I was just going to ask the same question. Yeah, I, I can't say I know. It almost felt passiony to me, but that's a different that story. Bit about for we forgive all of those who have. That was a, an interesting little. That was an interesting yeah, interjection. Fact- yeah, that they went it, it, from sin in the first bit to indebtedness in the second. There was a single thy in there and no other these yeah. are thou's. Yeah, this is just weird. This is, and this is from Luke. So As he took me through that, and I've taught on this in some of my prophetic words I've released about uh, prophetic warfare. She, she oh, I got warfare. 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 Yeah, warfare. Yeah, warfare. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Okay. She stopped in the middle of the prayer. Yeah. What heaven has? Well, the Lord it was taking her through it. Uh, she Nikki. said she was going to do the whole thing. Yeah, but she the, got through again, not the whole thing. But, and in a but weird the Lord was taking her through it. Don't you understand? I mean, th- I, maybe maybe her editor made a bad edit. <laughs> I think <laughs> you just have this Python spirit really wrapped around you. Right. Probably. Yes. Probably. Yeah. For, for some reason, when I'm possessed by the Python spirit, I talk about dead parrots. <laughs> that's just because you're hungry. Mm-hmm. That's the Monty Python spirit. So, yeah, that's okay. a different, uh, different. Thing. Thank you for explaining the joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moving along. Said, shall be on earth. On earth as it is in heaven. And so a lot of people miss yes, the power says. of that step when we're declaring. We're not whining, oh. we're not complaining. We're not sitting around, freaking out, being confused. We are in, in the clarity of mind, knowing our authority. Okay, Lord. Authority. We have authority. Uh-huh. Yeah, authority. We do have authority. Mm. Uh, I feel I feel like we're getting a prophetic scolding here. So yeah. I also feel like she completely misses the entire point of the Lord's Prayer. Oh, it's completely yeah, yeah. lost on her. Yeah. Oh, it's like, it yeah, it's like... Not just declaring Jesus, <laughs> Jesus wasn't in a declarative mode doing prophetic battle when he. No, oh. and, and, oh. and the and the and the way the imperatives work in the Lord's Prayer, they're actually petitions. They're, it's not. It's the, the way the grammar works. They're, they're petitions. <laughs> they're not de- declarations. So, well, I guess our yeah. editor didn't pick up on that either. No, <laughs> yeah, the English editor. <laughs> she clearly needs a doctrinal error e- editor as well, you know. So, you know, just, just saying. <laughs> In heaven. And so he's very clear your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so he highlighted that. And as I continue to read, it keeps going. And when you get to 9 through 13, and of course, the verse 11 is highlighted because it's Luke 11 11. Okay. Wow. Oh, no. Wow. wow. Now we're doing 11, 11. 
blind. Wow. I, I am. Um, I, my mind is blown. What does it's, it all mean? What does it all mean? What does it's, it all mean? <laughs> the Apostle that's Paul has paganism. some choice words. Yeah, that, that's literally paganism. That's like reading yeah, that's, omens. Name numerology. <laughs> yeah. Paganism, yeah. Patrick. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, but <laughs> she's annoying me. So on, let's see. I have a question. I have is a there, question. Did I, I see question. an end of the world thing? Yeah. So, so financial storm is coming. Urgent prophecy for February 26, 2024. This is like hot off the press. I mean, this is like just from five oh, hours. Quick, ago. call on my wife. Sure. Her hand is raised. Sure. Yeah, yes, before ma'am. Before we move on, uh-huh. before we move on, can we talk just a little bit about, we talked about what the Lord's prayer does not mean. Yeah. Can you give us just a crumb of context Please. <laughs> so when we pray that your, your kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, right? So here, here's the question is, how is God's will done, right? So you'll note that God's will is done when the gospel is preached and sinners are brought to repentance and uh, and uh, sins are forgiven and uh, and things like this. This this is God's will. How do I know that? Because the Bible says so. So when they when they say, you know, as it is in heaven, you know, you know they, 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 they say stupid things after afterwards generally like uh well there's no cancer in heaven so we need to we need to get rid of cancer by our declarations and things like this that's not what this means so <laughs> amazing so yeah all right let's do so, this so let's... you're saying that that the the as it is in heaven is the fact that in heaven sins are forgiven and we're under the grace of God. Is that what you're getting at there? So thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is also a prayer regarding Christ's return in glory because things are clearly not done here on earth as they are in heaven according to the will of God. And and so, uh, you know, again, coming back, what is God's will? He, you know, for us here on earth, his will for us is to hear the gospel. His will for us is for us to repent, for us to believe and trust in him for the forgiveness of our sins and, and to bear fruit in keeping with repentance. There's a text in Thessalonians that says the will of God is your sanctification. And then, you know, and so God wills for you to be sanctified. So you know, the idea here is just use the scripture to find other texts that kind of tell us what God's will is. And you, you kind of can flesh these things out, but uh, they, they kind of over mystify them and then blur them and then try to turn themselves into some kind of go Satan busting, conquering declaration kind of nonsense. And it has nothing to do with that. So, so. Just to be clear, the will of God for my life I want is not to- for me to declare myself saddled up and ride into the gold season. <laughs> That's... You, you, you <laughs> know, else Re- remember that, uh, Remy, I appreciate see, I, the question because it, it, it does la- add a layer of <laughs> clarification. The answer to your question is no, God does not want you to do that. So, <laughs> anybody else right. remember the Stephen Curtis Chapman song, Saddle Up Your Horses? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh, that was so, he was so big when I was growing up. Stephen Curtis Chapman was the dude, you know. And he had this song that was all about saddling up and riding your horses and blazing a trail. You did grow up in the Midwest. I did not. It, it was not a Midwest thing. It was a yeah. Christian contemporary music thing. Yeah, also probably I, a reason why I avoided it. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say this, that, you know, just by way of memory lane, um, I am the uh, creator of this Blazing Saddles Bible study. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm not sure that's something you should remember. You about. workshopped that with me. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so that's you know, brag. yeah. Excuse you. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's wildly famous. I, I, I almost feel like we should have an episode dedicated to remembering and remembering the Blazing Saddles Bible study and, and oh, actually, what, what brought memoriam. that about. No, no actually, um, we uh, <clears throat> Nick and I were discussing this. We actually were trying to compile a list of our greatest hits in preparation for 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. And oh. that would actually be a good addition. Yeah, they're talking about the uh, the Blazing Saddles Bible study. All right, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and, and before, people are going, "What? Is, what is that?" What is, yes, Remy. <laughs> I was going to say before we hit play on this, can we just take a moment and appreciate how busy this is? We got like the right. logo in the top right, the Bible <laughs> in the top left, and and I, we got the late. <laughs> so this is one of those hijacked. Uh, uh, prophetic videos and they tried to yep. modify it enough so that it doesn't get copyright, you know, whatever. Uh, 
And so, uh, yeah, so that, the that's the fake sign language lady in the lower right hand corner. Right. Yeah. So, the, the, and, and her, everything she says is going to be completely out of sync with what the lady in the middle is going to be saying. It's just going to be a train wreck. So, let's go. So, this is, this is the Julie Green prophetic word a financial storm is coming. Urgent, urgent prophecy for February 26, 2024. Ooh. To uh, go over this prophetic word with you today. And I was praying over this. This one, there's a lot of different scriptures, a lot of revelation. Um, this one is called a, a financial storm is coming that will wipe out your enemies worldwide. A wow. financial storm is coming that will wipe out. Oh, wow, that's that's helpful. <laughs> Goodbye, George Soros. <laughs> is she on fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they smoked her up too. The, yeah. Dude, and the um, lady down in the in the right corner, what what on earth is going on down there? So I don't know. I what I do know is that God is really good at naming these things. <laughs> <laughs> He's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out your enemies. Remember these people with that emoji. This prophecy was from February twelfth of twenty twenty four. For I, the Lord, this day want to remind my children that your enemies are through. They yeah. are through with control. Enemy is a word. <laughs> hey, haters. <laughs> I hate to break this to you. How dare you? That's my line. <laughs> you look like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. It's just, you know, it's just, you're oh. through. You know, anyway, so. You know, <laughs> Your day is done. done. That's, also That's a right. Good addition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's keep going here. They are through with controlling my church, my nations, mm. and this mm. earth. Mm. Nation. I have created. Nation's a word. They are through Amen. controlling the narrative worldwide. They are through the with narrative. their big steel. And with their what? financial system, with their global agenda. I know what that is. Okay, if you pay close attention to, like, they actually have a video overlay, but with a very low opacity filter. Yeah. It's actually like a cross, but it, it looks like it might be on fire. I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> well, that, that's not right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and for there, no. Oh, yeah, I see here. it now. Oh, wow. What was yeah. that, Nikki? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I was asking if she's getting into like Illuminati prophecy here. Yeah, I, she I is. Think that's, big, yeah. She is globalist agenda depopulation, the big steel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard of big pharma. I've never heard of big steel. <laughs> the before. Big, oh, well, that's yeah, that's more about elections. But I, I'm trying to think it of is. what the word is. Uh, All right, there's a word for it. Yeah, anyway, continue. All right, population. They wanted. They are through. My children, wow. they can't stop me. And you need to get that down in your hearts. So in this time okay. where your enemies are raising the pressure against you for what they are about to throw at the world that will look impossible to get out of for man. But it's not impossible for me. You will see how big I am and how small and insignificant your enemies are in their plans against you. This is awful. My children, no. uh, this is drivel. <laughs> this I, is I feel like we need to just kick things up a bit here. Here, <laughs> oh, keys gosh. of faith are being extended. Your transparency will manifest my transparency. Glyphs. Yeah, let's go yeah. with that one. Yeah, hang on a second. Here we go. Word salad. Oh. Just had the clearest vision, and what it was as we stood there, and the walls are. Is Chuck Pierce in a trance? What's going on over there? Oh, Vision he, is a word. Or has he had too I'm, much to drink? Well, look at that. That's that's I'm what dreaming uh, of he's, Kentucky. He's, uh, he's nursing a again. migraine. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm doubting that this vision was clear. <laughs> Our walls began to fall, and there was such a transparency and such a vulnerability mm. that we were entering into, and all that was shining out was glory it was like wow. being a burning bush like when <laughs> all that excuse was, me it, <laughs> have you stepped into your burning burning bush dad it was like being a burning bush yeah it's like i did not know that that was a thing you know that can be repeated and that i needed to be one so they have over yeah. the counter meds for that yeah, yeah. can we can we talk for just a second about 
Is the burning bush us? No, that was the that was the presence of God. What? God spoke. Wow. God spoke. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. yeah, I I can't be a burning bush because I ain't a deity. So that's a well. You can't be a burning bush because you, you don't have enough faith. You're uh, stifling the work right. of the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, the only thing that's bushy is like this beard. I'm afraid if I they caught fire, that that might mess my face up. So, you know, I don't know. It works you for don't that pirate that, that one. Burning? Time. Yeah, no, I no, it wouldn't be glorious. It would be opposite of that. <laughs> let's keep going. Exterior here. was gone. There was nothing left shining but glory. And when he says, "For the widow, for the orphan," God is giving His glory through His people this hour, but we've got to step into such a massive place of transparency mm. that it can be seen. It, it, is is that the sound? Is, is that the soundtrack for Shen Yun in the background? What is no, no. going on there? I, I feel like the musician's like, okay, she's getting off topic. I don't know what to hear. Like, add music. Just, just do something. Something. <laughs> I would like and to I, point out that she said we have to step into. A place of such massive transparency that it can be seen, <laughs> which isn't for those playing at home. That isn't how transparency works. I can only turn invisible when no one's looking at me. You, you know, Remy, I'm glad you actually were trying to make sense of what she was saying because I've given up like year, years ago by even trying to make sense of these people. Their words just like wash over me. I'm going to back this up because I want to hear that. Hang on a second here. <laughs> And when he says, for the widow, for the orphan, God is giving his glory through his people this hour, but we've got to step into such a massive place of transparency that it can be seen. Yep, that was you, a good you, catch. You, yeah, it was a good catch. <laughs> My transparency needs to be seen. Yeah, that visible what transparency. What about your opacity? And now, you shouldn't now be you're able just, to see that. You are confusing me at this point. <laughs> So, mm. so we're, we're basically the thing that oh. needs to happen is the opposite of the definition of the word that you're using that you say needs to happen. Mm. Right. We have to become Amen. so transparent in our faith that we are opaque. <laughs> Full circle. Full circle. We become, right back around. We co become so transparent. We become mud. <laughs> this is so weird. And heard and touched and felt. And so, Lord, we just say right now. There's a whole new dimension of, of the transparency. Oh, dimension. Of dimension. Dimension. Yep. That's nice. A, that's prophecy being a word. The, Very nice. The flesh just beginning to move out of the way and expose. The Bible says we have this treasure in earthen vessels so that the excellency of the power would be of God and not of us. This isn't us. This is him shining through into the earth realm, delivering, healing, setting free, providing, bringing glory, bringing glory in the earth, bringing glory, sending his glory in the earth. Lord, we thank you. We say, let the walls come down. Let all the walls come down. Let all the walls come down. Well, I mean, I that... To men, 38 seconds of my life, I'm not getting back. Nope. Um, so there's a great separation coming. Hang on a second. Let's check this one out here. Oh my Good morning, everyone. And Good, it's actually afternoon. Uh, konnichiwa. So in, in, in Japan, you'd actually say konnichiwa during the afternoon. Uh, Ohio in the morning, by the way, but that's a, the whole other story. Thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is February the 26th of 2024, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. This word today is quite lengthy, and before I release this word, I felt the Lord wanted me to, felt. to bring up a conversation of a couple of things that are mentioned in this word today. Here, One of those... To... What was that? Yeah, uh, I'm having a technical issue here with my headphones. Oh no! All right. Oh dear! I don't know what's happening. Don't worry, the editor will take this out. <laughs> All 
right. She didn't I, say I, any words. I, I'm going to move forward so. because she's, you know, she's going to, she's giving a whole bunch of scripture and then she's going to kind of comment on, let's see what the, this, what she says. Spirit here. will be left out of what I am doing. You will see the dead, stagnant pools dry up. They have made no effort to join in with the works I am doing in this they're day. They're dead. They have sat in judgment. How? And judgment has... Well, they're stagnant pools. Yeah. Has come how upon can, they, how them. can they make an effort? Dead things can clearly make an effort. Come on. <laughs> That's like yeah. Christianity 101, right? I mean, come <laughs> on. I mean, seriously. I mean, even Mozart after death is still able to decompose. So, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, I saw that one coming from Tim Tomatoes Basil. in the chat, boys. <laughs> Tomato <laughs> emojis. Yes. In the chat. Sorry, sorry, yep. sorry. But I'm not. You're not so. sorry. Don't <laughs> apologize if you're not going to mean it. Those who were called and destined to be part of the work I am doing and have not heeded the word of the prophet will suffer great loss which prophet in particular are you talking about everything Probably that had been given to them will be taken away and given to another these did not consider the word spoken to them but chose to justify their own works and they stand condemned in this day, a great separation is taking place, says the Lord. Those who refuse to respond to the word spoken through the prophets will be misguided and unfruitful. I have assigned a commission to my chosen vessels, the prophets, in this day. They are being sent out to warn the people, to bring the word of the Lord to those who are wandering in a waste land. Those who receive the word will be directed onto the pathway to life. But those who reject the word of the prophet will be left up to their own devices, to navigate through turbulent waters. There is great contempt for the word of the Lord as it goes forth throughout the land. Those who embrace it will find life, but those who resist it will find themselves lost out to sea. You I see. How difficult is Judgment Day going to be? Yeah, for, these for them, for like, it's going to be horrifying. And actually, horrifying. Jesus, Jesus describes it in the Sermon on the Mount. And many will come to me saying, "Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name? Do we not cast out demons in your name?" And and you know, the, the, you can legitimately hear their pleas. And, and Jesus said, uh, "Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. I never knew you." You know, and, and, and that's what this is. This is utter lawlessness to think that somehow you can ascribe words to God that God hasn't given you and 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 break the commandment that says you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain and to like repeat yeah. to break it repeatedly. I mean, this this is uh this is so I one of the things I like to point this out is that uh, when you read Ezekiel, read, read Jeremiah, they he, they both describe false prophets and idolaters in terms of adulterers or like whores. Uh, you know, that's yeah. actually kind of the strong language. And so adultery is in the physical world what what idolatry is in the spiritual. God, you know, connects the two. And so th this is this is spiritual adultery. Adultery that's that you know that we're looking at here. So it's a mess. Spiritual it, adultery is is presented by it, the Karen yeah. Neighborhood Watch. Yeah. So Robin oh, man, what, so threatening too. Yeah. This, this is actually you know powerful prophecy, oh. a new end time sign. Uh, and yeah. yeah, that's yeah. premiering right now. It's premiering as we fun. speak. Hallelujah. You know. Uh, this no, it doesn't look like it's, it's not praying anymore. It looks like it ended. Healing is your right. On, Obama even healing is Satan your right. Yeah. Wow. That have agreed to follow the wicked party now. How many of them have had that right there? I would be. Oh, <laughs> it's the it's the jab. He's talking about the jab. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Because he had, uh, they're one he way, a, one go. And then suddenly they turn wow. and go another direction as if they're triggered or something. What? It's the new wow. D.A.R.E. program as given to us by NAR. I want you to think about what I'm saying right now. So like my pastor, my and he pastor has a Joe, 
who who had to get the vaccine so that he could be allowed into the hospital to bring communion to yeah. sick and dying members. Uh, mm. He's he's going to hell now. He because he got yeah. the he got the jab. It's clearly like, uh, yeah and then oh, no man. he's he the guy's wearing the same the same pin that uh cat kerr wears it says i don't do demons so yeah i find that hard to believe i wonder yeah personally suddenly they'll turn it like you suddenly he said suddenly hang on a second oh here. Yeah, yeah suddenly we got it we got suddenly yeah. suddenly. Uh, suddenly yeah so, yes. Uh, let me let me close. Oh, no, not her up. again. I'm not coming back to her. You know, I'm not going to go back no. to Smokey later here. Yeah. So yeah, Smokey, right. Smokey. Yeah. for this wicked <laughs> regime, who slaughter babies, I'd be curious to know how many of them have have had that. Oh my gosh. For they appear uh. triggered. This is why the wicked jackal. This is why a wicked jackal and a fraudulent administration. Elvira wants her wig back. So, yeah. You know. Decided that everybody had to have that. He pushed so hard to get everyone with this. Everyone had the potential then to be triggered, even though everyone will not be. If you're not what important enough. What does he mean by triggered? I don't know. So, and this is the I, I i don't want to get like political but the, the when the people rail against the vaccine and the anti the anti covid vaccine rhetoric here the these are the people that are big trump supporters usually they're very yeah. big trump supporters oh, but did Kevin they not Bullock realize is. That it was his it was his vaccine and his push and his spending and all of this and joe biden just took over during the rollout like yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. And, and 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 the other bit here is is that when you're sp when you're saying this is a big prophecy, this is a prophetic, powerful word, that that anybody then as a Christian who took the jab is hearing Robin Bullock and and thinking that they've done something like egregiously sinful or something like that. Yeah, uh, that 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 that's a way of binding people's consciences that is just un mm -hmm. unthinkable. Yeah. Awful. Yeah, so bad. yeah, yeah. Was, is it sinful to get the vaccine? I, I, no, 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 <laughs> no. Although I would say that uh, threatening someone's livelihood if they don't get it, that would, that, you know, would, yeah, that, that, that would be a different thing altogether. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, let's uh, check in with Lighthouse Global here. Oh, oh, vertical video. I hate you so much. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. This is Pastor Solomon Bay from Lighthouse Global. I'm going to wait until oh, some of you master. find me. I'm yeah, just gonna, there's a, there's a, yeah, go so into this the, yeah, there word, we go. I already shared this um, uh, as an image. The wind is my, blowing uh, in your favor. Facebook, I have uh, wind. Post, and, uh, you know, the word is about how the wind is blowing in your favor. Wind is blowing okay. in your favor. And uh, this is just a phrase that God has given me, pastor. even from the prophetic conferences. Oh, that favor? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Don't help him out. Helping oh, you out. Don't help him. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to find it. Cheering Chris on from oh, home. Oh, found Playing it. There we go. Pet. Playing teacher's pet will not help you oh, with Oh, look at that. I, I just you. need a provision or misappropriated Hebrew. And, oh, man, uh, I'm... I'm yeah, okay, just, just saying, you know, so just saying. All right, let's come back. Here we go. Doing since January, um, I'd be praying for somebody and it would come to them as a personal prophetic word and really stood out to me. So I want to give you a few points about what I believe God's going to do in the month of February. So number one, okay. I really believe this is a little bit uh, apart from uh, the wind part. But number one, on God is saying your faithfulness re will be rewarded. For So for those okay. who have been faithful in little, those who have been faithful um, in whatever God's given you, I believe rewards are coming and I really believe in the double portion in the uh, ear double and portion are like do either of those will work oh I have double yep yeah nice yep. and I bless you to receive this prophetic word for you that God is a God of double portion God will remove the shame and give you the double portion in Jesus name but I hear the Lord saying your faithfulness re will be rewarded I was reminded of Matthew 20 doesn't the Bible teach that God 
rewards faithfulness. I mean, come on, you know. It's okay, like, yeah. I, my my yeah. question is double portion of what exactly? You know, in in uh, physics or any kind of math, they, they you know you have to have the unit. You know, it's like twenty five horsepower, twenty five watts of whatever. But double portion of what? Double what portion of the small is? things, the, the the little things. Double you portions know, of punishment, <laughs> biscuits yeah. and gravy, well, biscuits and gravy. So, ah, and my my thing is, she was like, "Look, if you've been faithful with the little things," and I was like, "Well, dang, roll roll me out." <laughs> it's, it's my problem as a sinner my, is that I'm I'm really not faithful at all. I, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, let's well, keep that going. Is here. clearly why you're not an apostle or prophet. That's such a Lutheran <laughs> answer. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> continuing on 25 and uh you know matthew 25 there's a parable of the talents and uh god talk you know jesus gives us an example of different servants who were given different things and um those who multiplied it um had a, a you know those who multiplied it those who did something with it things that were entrusted to them, they were called to be good and faithful servants. So Matthew 25, 21, it says, his master replied, well okay. done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with the few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. And I really believe that that's what God is saying. I believe what God is saying this year is for those who have been faithful, even in the past 10 10- That is an eschatological parable talking about how things will go on the day of judgment. Okay, and and oh, I just have to interject at this point because oh, good. Here's... I was going to ask him too. <laughs> I was gearing oh, up. You bungled I'm, it. I'm really yeah. That's all right. Just, it's, beware the bungles. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but uh, so so here here's the issue. It, when you look at the parable of the talents in in the uh, in the Olivet discourse in Matthew 25, it, the the key to unlocking that is how is is how do the people view the master? Okay, so you, the guy with the you know with the Ten talents really thinks the master's like the bee's knees, and he has no fear. He goes out and does business with the master's stuff, and and it, it legitimately produces more. Same with the guy you know who has the was it three talents, and the, but and same thing, yeah, you know, it doubles it. But then the guy who had the one. He he says, "Oh, I knew you were a hard guy, and, you know, sowing where you know, reaping where you haven't sowed, and all this kind of stuff." And and, and his view of the master is horrible. Okay, and uh, and and so the guy has like no faith and has a, like a terrible view of Jesus, and so as a result of it, he is judged by his own words. And uh, and mm-hmm. so you know, you, it, it's a it's a parable of judgment, and and, and it has to do with faith. Uh, and so, you know, you know, what, 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 do you think Jesus is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and that he's, that he's kind, gracious, merciful, bled and died for your sins, rose bodily from the grave for your justification, things like this. Or do you think that Jesus is just the cosmic killjoy who's trying to keep you from doing, from having a good time on this planet? It, you, you get the idea. It's, it's, it's about your faith and your, how you view the master. That's really the key to unlocking that parable. But uh, what do I know? I, I'm just a pastor, so. So, you know, of a small t- church in the middle of just nowhere. Went to, just went to school for it. I mean. Yeah, yeah, so things like that. Yeah. Cosmic killjoy is an amazing turn of phrase. <laughs> <laughs> I full of cosmic killjoy powers. <laughs> right, you will can- not have wine at communion. You will have grape juice. Ah, <laughs> Anyway, moving on, let's keep going here. 10 years, 10 months, 20 years, 30 years. For some of you, you have been faithful for the past 50 years. You know, things that people don't know about. But what God is saying in 2024 is that he is saying to you, uh, he's commending you and saying that you're a good and faithful servant. A vindication is coming. And he says, because you have been faithful with few things. Again, this is an eschatological day of judgment parable. I, I, it can't be brought into 2024 the way you're doing this. It's like, uh, yeah, yes, Nikki. How does one get to be a good and faithful servant? Is it by working harder and doing gooder? No, by believing in Jesus and having all your sins forgiven. Are you saying cool. that if, I, if I'm not just working so hard at, at multiplying the gifts that God has given me, that's not what's going to earn me the title good and faithful servant? No, because Christians do what they do because they're Christians, not in order to become Christians or to be saved. So, you know, that, this is, it's a co- complete category error if, 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 that she's engaging in. So, Are you telling me you that be... if, you, if you don't attend the circumcision party that you'll be fine if you're in Christ? <laughs> 
I don't want to go to that party. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> would would you be would you be willing to eat your words on all of this if Jesus returns the day after tomorrow? Is because it then all of this, because then it would be, it yeah, would be. That's, that's the only lot. way. That, right. If Jesus comes then back, you do like, bring it into 2024. Yeah, if Jesus returns before the uh, December 31st of this year, I go well. <laughs> I guess you at least got that bit right. <laughs> so broken yeah. clock and all that. Yeah, but the thing is, is that <laughs> she's like leaving that part out. It's like, well, if this is if what her prophecy is true, then Jesus is coming back like quickly. He'll be here at any minute, yeah. you know. Amen. So I hope so. Oh, That'd Lord be great. That, that I, not that I would not complain about that at all. No, nope. so. no. Nope. Yeah, yeah. That God has given you, He will put you in charge of many things. Promotion is coming to a lot of you, so I bless you in Jesus' name. I see. Even prophetically in this word, as I prophesy, some of the moms that are, you know, doing kitchen work or cleaning up after your kids, you feel like those little things are just few things that don't really matter. But God is saying, no, that's not true. Even the little things oh, that you do, one. God is saying. Uh, she's got that right, but for the wrong reason, no. because the scriptures oh, yeah. actually say these are good works. It's like, oh, good night. What's the, what's the line that Luther uses about changing diapers? I, I, I'm not f familiar with the one you're referring to off the top of he, my head. Yeah. I don't, don't a hundred percent quote me, but he says something to the effect that like, it's, you know, that even, even changing diapers, if, if done in Christ is a good work. Yeah, that's exactly right. Absolutely yeah. true. Okay. I'm just, yeah. I'm just thinking of the scenario where, you know, one of these false prophets is saying, oh, I'm seeing increase. I'm seeing promotions and some guy is watching it and you can see on his desk like the like, you know the the pink slip uh -huh. you know and you can also see like uh, next to it is like the divorce papers and whatnot and you know he's just <laughs> you've been promoted to no longer working here <laughs> you've been promoted right. to customer <laughs> <laughs> all right we're moving on to uh hello to, and welcome uh, to the watchman on the wall channel okay uh, this prophetic word excerpt comes from ivan atia miami florida a word for february know. Expect a sudden ambush. Do not be surprised. The enemy plotted many attacks. <laughs> enemy, Hang on. enemy is a. <laughs> Hang on, wait a minute. We're gonna if be you're ambushed. Not surprised. If you're not surprised, then is it really an ambush? Like it's an, it would just be an annoying... attempted ambush. So it's one of those visible, invisible ambushes. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, you have to become so transparent. transparent yeah. <laughs> it's transparently it's so, opaque. It's such a good ambush. You're ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Smell you coming from 10 miles away. Yeah. Shh. Do you smell something? <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, no. Here we go. Against you. Even made some of you believe that I was against you, says the Lord. The battle that is against you, even against your health, has been severe. For the enemy has been prowling oh, around battle. you like a roaring lion. Yeah, that'll work. Has joined hands nice. with others to destroy you. But I have it's seen your tears. I have heard that. your cry. I have seen your oppression and your relentless faith. And I will come to save and avenge you. This battle is not yours to fight. This battle is mine. Do not be in distress, nor fear the attacks of the enemy. For like dust, they will vanish. For as you sing and shout for joy, you will see my salvation. You will not even need to fight. Take your positions. Stand still and watch my victory. For oh, I, the victory. Lord your God, am with you. Yeah, nice. victory is a good one. Do you, yeah. have, a, do you have a bingo yet? No, I am all over it, though. I've got yeah. one, two, that happened to me, three, four, that happened to me last time. five different uh, ways to win. Uh, okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Your praise and your shout for victory will destroy the enemy. Get ready for the walls of Jericho will collapse by my divine power and strength. You that have known me as your father and as your friend, but you are about to know me as your king and your divine warrior who fights your battles, who spreads the banner of victory over your head. You are about to know me as Jehovah Nisi. For <sighs> the time will come and I will ask you, son, daughter, where are your Hebrew. accusers? Um... That actually would be misappropriate. <laughs> oh no, you just get, is, you just getting bingo. What, is, what does Nisi mean? I I would actually. Oh, have I to know look this one. That. You know this one. What is it? 
I have to look I this up. I know this one. Jehovah okay. Nisi is the Lord my banner. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So misappropriated Hebrew. Guess what? Uh, you got I it. can't. I can't resist misappropriated Hebrew. <laughs> that I, is your favorite I, one. It's my favorite one. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. it's usually just so bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Now are, we, I, I, are you I, saving? I, I'm saving. I'm saving till the end. Okay. okay so All right. So let's come back to this. This, this is actually this is a, a bountiful prophecy. So. Man, this way is this a good guy one, is yeah. reading. It sounds I, I like he's constantly out of breath. Yeah, I, 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 he's he's really into it. So you know, he's very into it. You will look around. I wasn't and expecting for it. from the <laughs> yeah, the oldest to the youngest, uh, they will vanish from the scene. Remember what uh, my son has done, the one who canceled the record of the charges against you, the one who disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities, and shamed them publicly. I know what this, this is. This is a month to give thanks. A month. Yeah. No, okay. No, this okay, if you ever got a really poorly narrated audible book. Oh. You know, like the guy that like this is like his first book that he's ever done. This he's trying is his hardest. The book. <laughs> and then the warriors showed up. <laughs> it's like, no, dude, wow, no. This, this, this is all is he does. That, yeah, he takes other people's oh, prophecies I know. and like oh, yeah. basically Hold, does like a dramatic reading. Yeah, look how many yeah. he puts out per day. Okay. Oh my gosh. Is this, it, this No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's like, that looks like him, right? That's like Stephen Furtick that after getting like stung him, right? by bees. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> l l let's check this one out. Hang on. Hello and oh, welcome Charlie to the Champ. On the oh. Channel. This prophetic word comes from Charlie Champ. Marie. Now, it's something about Charlie Champ. This guy can grow a beard in five minutes. I am not <laughs> kidding. <laughs> He's one of these fellows that I mean, you see this 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 hair stubble on him. Okay, that was him filmed at eight in the morning, and he shaved at seven forty-five. Okay, are you jealous? <laughs> <of something? laughs> this guy could grow a beard like just like this. Okay, just to say, right. this, Sam, this right here, three years. Okay, <laughs> solid effort. Solid yeah. effort. Yeah. All right, continue on here. Your destiny. Destiny, we have Destiny in this bingo. Destiny. Yes, you got bingo That's with Destiny. Bingo. Okay. okay, all right. Continuing <laughs> on, let's see if we get double here. Say, I have heard your cries, the piercing shrieks of the war eagles. I have witnessed your fatigue, your weariness from the relentless battles you've waged. War eagles? I've never heard eagles being weaponi weaponized like this before. They're war eagles of the apocalypse, Chris. <laughs> you know, most people, most people reference the Bible when they do these. Charlie's over here referencing the Lord of the Rings, and that's a bold move. That's close enough, right? <laughs> Tolkien like and the Bible—that's that's almost they're, they're almost synonymous. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, so. He certainly then, he certainly Frodo. wrote as much as Moses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. oh. But now I beckon you to a fresh chapter, a season of divine encounters in the realm of season and encounters. Glory. I am unveiling new portals for you. Portal. portal is a word. Yeah, I got that one. Hang on a second here. Yeah, portal. portal. There we oh. go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Close. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, no. No. Where Where am no. I? I'm lost. Here. There we go. Yeah. There Champus, we go. Campus. Campus. Yeah. yeah. Gateways the of destiny that respond to the sound of your voice. These doors will not open by your strength or power, but to my spirit. You will echo my words, my promises. You will witness them materialize. Do not let your heart be troubled by the trials you've endured. They have been the furnace that forged you for this season. They have fortified your faith, deepened your reliance on me. I am summoning you to ascend, to glide on wings like eagles. I am inviting you to step into my presence to experience my glory. In my presence, you will discover rest for your souls. You will find the victory cry for your voyage. You will gain the wisdom <laughs> for the choices you must make. So come step into the realm of glory, echo my words, proclaim your destiny. Watch as I unveil new portals to you, doors that no man can seal. Remember, I am your is, constant What companion. does any of this mean? <laughs> Do you have a victory for your, a war cry war. for your, what did he say? For your I voyage? have a war cry for your portal victory? Yeah, I, I accidentally, 
I threw. I accidentally threw a war eagle through a portal, and and something <laughs> terrible happened. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's unclear. <laughs> The war con- eagle stuck in portal. Yeah. The Here's consequences the came back much, on me double. Yeah. How much? What, what how much think? ayahuasca do I have to do before <laughs> this makes sense? Clearly too much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see here. You shall taste. Can and also see. be converted to peyote bucks. Okay. Hang on a second. Here. Let's check this one out. Let's go here for a second here. A couple of weeks ago, I had a vision, and. Mm. In the vision, I woke up that morning into a vision. And in the vi- Wow. So a vision within a vision? vision inception. Yeah. Okay. Vision. There was rows and rows of people that were sitting down, and they had barf bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory of Zyre Hazard, you never failed to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> Barf bags. <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting, but it wasn't that. <laughs> that. I don't have barf bag on my bingo card, and I am crushed. Uh, oh man, did not <laughs> see that day. coming. Holy smokes! No, this oh. is up there with wind. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Okay. And everybody oh, was vomiting in these bark bags, and it was coming out pretty forcefully. I know that's graphic, but I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! Uh, oh my goodness! Oh, I got. Pro- <laughs> Look, I'm taking powerful. <laughs> You should. I have a consolation prize. Yeah, you, you got it. It's yours, man. No, I'm not. No <laughs> for it. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Powerful vomit. Do you have your barf bag anointing? <laughs> oh, t- gross! Uh, oh man! And so <sighs> they were sitting there, and it was just coming out mm-hmm. very forcefully. I knew it yeah. was the spirit of God. <laughs> you what? Were- <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first. <laughs> Powerful vomit is the spirit of God. Oh Hallelujah. no! Amen. You know, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, Paul did list projectile vomit in the fruits: <laughs> love, joy, peace, patience, projectile vomiting. You know. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, this is so they will know you by your works, right? Uh, and those works are just projectile vomit. They will know you by your vomit. <laughs> bonus, <laughs> bonus if your head spins around in a circle 360 degrees. <laughs> that is some kind of spirit, right? <laughs> yeah, usually those ones get exercised, but that's a different story. Not so, at Glory Zion. Yeah, no, no, they get center stage. <laughs> they get center stage. This is the spirit of the Lord. Who <laughs> <Okay. laughs> brought the pea soup? Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, I have to hit play again. The Lord began to show me <laughs> that there was going to be a mass deliverance wow. that to take hmm. place in the body of Christ. It was rows upon rows upon rows upon rows upon rows of people. And after they got delivered, they all stood up and God began to hand out staffs. He began to hand out new rods to everybody. I had no idea when I got to East Texas. I I would like an ugly stick fishing rod, please. Never mind. (laughs) That that rod was going to be put in my hand. Wow. I'm telling you, God wow. is speaking. There was such an authority on the praise and worship today. And it was like God was saying, you shall taste and see. You shall taste and see. <laughs> Don't you mean retaste? Oh, oh no. <laughs> the flag team walking by, though, going like, yeah, yes, amen. <laughs> I just, wow. 
Uh, Everybody's projectile vomiting. I don't want a staff. I want like I want like some Robitussin. You know? I want a biohazard suit. Good night and a good <laughs> rose upon rose upon you rose upon rose upon rows of vomit. <laughs> you will taste oh. this. The, 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 that the Lord is good. <laughs> you will blow chunks, saith the Lord. <laughs> This is so horrifying. I am traumatized. It's going to make me sick. <laughs> I, no self-awareness. No. They have zero self-awareness. Zero. <laughs> this is and comedy like, no writes shame. itself. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, man. No. What, did you, what did you say, uh, Remy? They have, like, no shame either. Like... No, no, I could no. never imagine my pastor saying anything like this from the pulpit. <laughs> if I said something like that from the pulpit, not only would I be out of a job, they would be taking me to a mental institution to see if I was okay. You know, uh, uh, Leonardo. I had a dream. Leonardo DiCaprio was there. Everyone yeah, was vomiting. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. A new hive for a new harvest. <laughs> a new we we just new harvest. The death we, trout. we just got to try this. Hang on. Oh gosh. So we came back from East Texas I love how with something news to thing. present to the house. It's the same lady. Flags. Same lady. Yes. And look at the yeah, look at, yes. yeah, the flag waving going on here. They sent a gift back. And when this lady doesn't even have a flag oh, on her stick. She's just just swinging a broom handle. What on it's earth? A baton. They sent a they sent a gift She's, bag. We vomited into it. <laughs> That's what the barf bags were. Uh, when you're warring with a tribe and a troop, someone has something for you that you know not of. And so they sent something back for us to the house. Now this is a... No, 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 we got it right. This is a staff. Come see each other. Sticks, how do they work? On yeah, they're, they're handing out staffs there. Okay. Staff, it has the bees on the staff. The B-E-E-S, the bees, okay? And then in the staff, they actually have honey all through the staff. Stop this for a moment. Stop it. This is an infomercial. Yeah, <laughs> that's what this is. You Very just you just woke up. It's two a.m. <laughs> on a Saturday morning, and the woman is like, "Okay, so this staff has bees on it, as you can see by the fine now, craftsmanship." Got the honey now listen, got the honey and if you order your if you order your staff today for twenty nine ninety nine, we will throw in a Chuck Pierce prayer cloth. With we your staff, absolutely a complimentary free. Complimentary gift bag. We will throw. We will throw in a complimentary barf bag, <laughs> pre-filled, just for you. Uh, yeah, I just I am. Ha. Huh. Oh, no. This guy's uh, church is wild. It, 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 it isn't really a church. Um, this is this is literally the whole service now. This there is yeah, no the, actual there, sermon time. There is this no sermon. This is the sermon. Yeah. Hang on, let's God, God, what, what, like a what a great grift. What a great saying. He says this is the season where the death shroud is being removed off your family bloodline and DNA. He says, oh hey, sons and daughters, don't you feel the glory that is resting on you? And he says it is a time to step out of the old. <laughs> in there. Step out. Into the new. So we're going to do a prophetic act together on the count of oh, three no. because oh, yes. you're going to step out of that death shroud that has come down your family line and he is going to bring you in to the new in the miracle center <laughs> church sit down Remy sit down <laughs> we we no you stepped out too far <laughs> we had deaf ears open up and healed so when you come forward not only is that death shroud breaking off you you are stepping into your divine moment of healing this morning so when we oh, count to three is. one goodness it's two, a swizzle stick flag three hey, hey wow 
Oh, she took a step. You know what? I, I can wow. I can tell you what this feels like. This uh. feels like the act like exercise activity at the old folks' home. <laughs> Bless. Let's. Uh, this oh. is a Zumba class in the prophetic. Okay, old folks, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Step out. Remember, we are trying to move those muscles and get that blood flowing. Chris, I see He's you gonna... over there. Stop that right now. <laughs> Chuck Pierce is going to watch this and be like, prophetic Zumba. Uh, hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't be giving him ideas. I shouldn't be giving. Tell so, me, so, so, Remy, too. tell me about your card. I mean, how, how much help are you needing here? Uh, well, so I got <clears throat> with powerful. I took powerful for the projectile vomit, and that gave yeah. me a bingo. It oh, felt good. a little oh. cheap. Felt a okay. little cheap, but uh, I've okay. got a. Uh, if I get so or identity or shaking or wealth, any of those, and I'll grab a bingo. So identity, shaking or wealth. Josh, what are you in need of over there? I could use a breath. You can use a breath. Mm, okay. I can definitely use a breath. All right, so let, let's let's do this. If uh, if you are a subscriber to uh, the Fighting for the Faith channel, uh, you can uh, you can take the word breath. If you have hit this, uh, the the uh, the the bell notification thing, then uh, then you can uh, it, it, let's see. You you need a, uh, identity. You can take the word identity. And uh, what was what's our third category you for? Like the video. If you like the video, then for sure uh, you should like it because it's just likable. Then you get a provision. So there you go. You know, you know what would actually be even better. I have, I have one, I have a one more category, a fourth category. No. And this is I, and I'll, I'll propose so the idea. I'll propose the idea to you. It doesn't apply to any of us currently playing, but to uh -huh. anybody playing at home, if you share the video. <gasps> Ah, oh. yo, I maybe like if you share the video, you can actually just take a bingo on us and have fun with your family and friends. There you go. Okay, so yeah. if, if you share the video, then take whatever words you need to to get bingo, and you got it. Precisely, right. double, I, I like that. Double fortune free space. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> double what? It's a double portion of free space. <laughs> right. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. Wow. So. All right. So who's up first? I I I gotta go first on this one. So okay. yeah, hang, we hang did on. get first bingo. So yeah, I did. Hang on a second. Got to stretch. All right. So okay. what yeah. flavor of music are you uh, requesting? A Zumba. I, I need Zumba music. <laughs> Zumba music. Hold on. Pierce style Zumba. Hold on. I'm gonna actually have to get some drums going on this. All right, um, okay. Let's see. Uh, maybe some R and B. Maybe. Okay. Neo soul. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. All right, now uh, my apologies ahead of time, but uh, I'm going to have to use. I'm going to have to speak at a high volume because I had yelling as one of my things. <laughs> so, <laughs> hold on, let me just. Oh, I like that one. And okay. if we're gonna do something funky, yeah. we should probably use. Yeah, you got you got to drop me a vibe here, man. <laughs> All right, I'm yelling right now, so I'm going to declare something deep. You need to step into the gold dust right now, and with your wind, you need to shalom it. You know, shalom, like in peace, you know, loco katov, and, 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 and decree your provisions for the gold deep declaration thingy for favor. <laughs> oh, brother Chris, brother Chris, that spoke to me. That was cool deep. What did it say, though? Yeah, I don't. You I, know, I just, the world may I never know. know. I, I hate to say it, but I felt like I just vomited oh. that. You know, so <laughs> ah, projectile, <A> prophetic spewing. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, what uh, what flavor do you want? I think it was happy music. One of the ones that you got in your bingo, I, or not? Uh, I didn't get a sappy music. I got that square, but not in my bingo. But if I can make a got request. It. By all means. Uh, if I could have a, uh, like a gospel-y. Ooh. We're going, you know, hold on, hold on, we're going to do on. this how I grew up with it. Gospel choir. <laughs> Woo! Getting dangerous now. Mm. All right, let me just get the Hammond. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, that's what I need. That's what I there need. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes the battle is upon you. Now, when the battle comes down upon you, you have to unlock and open the fire out of heaven. It's like the dragon rises up from the deep to pull you down. That war from the devil in that evil dimension. But with your powerful new identity, unlocking your abundance in Christ, you can make heaven reign in the supernatural. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I even got the free space in there. Ooh. Oh. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, let's see. Oh gosh, what do I see? I normally go for the the soul organ myself. I'm just wondering if I should change it up. Uh, yeah, let's let's try something like that. Futurist. Oh yes, 2056. <laughs> <laughs> there is a heavenly unlock with wind and authority my destiny is going to give me a generational curse <laughs> due to my the intercessor can I get a Jesus that's a no <laughs> Lord help me he's not helping oh Lord the free space is not helping me at all <laughs> and with that my wind has come to an end I think you just prophesied that your destiny is going to give you a generational curse. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't choose the words. The words chose me. (laughs) Remy, how how do people find your YouTube channel? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, yeah, it's uh, just Lutheran Answers on YouTube. (laughs) You uh, answers. answers. We'll put a link. Com. We'll put a link to your channel down below in the description. Remy, thank you for taking the time to uh, play some prophecy bingo with us today, and thank you, uh, yeah, and uh, and hopefully you won't have too many nightmares as a result of this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> thank you it for was, signing. It was a the walk waiver. down memory lane. <laughs> Indeed, yes, yeah. Thank you for signing the legal waiver before you came on. So. <laughs> Any medical damages will not be paid by the by pirate productions. <laughs> indeed, indeed. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off and we'll, we'll chat for just a second when I come back. So if you found this inf- uh, th- this episode of Fighting for the Faith to be informative, helpful, entertaining, any of the things like that, the, all the information on how you can share the video is down below in the description. And until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ and His vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. Thank you.